Yo, what's going on, Next Nation? It's your boy, coming to you guys with a brand new video. Before we get into the video, man, hit that sub button, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. Um, We hit 1,100 subscribers, 1,100 subscribers, and, you know, I just want to say thank you guys so much. You know, each and every goal, it, it just seems to happen so quickly because you guys show so much support and so much love to me, and I don't really know what to say to you guys. Like, it means the world that you guys keep watching my videos and you guys are hitting the subscribe button because, you know, each growth is good growth, and, you know, seeing growth just makes you more... Like, you know, keeps you hungry, keeps you wanting to keep going and bring you more content. But, you know, without further ado, let's hit 50 likes on this video. You guys smashed last video's like goal. So let's hit 50 likes again for this video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So today we're talking about the discourse that's been going on on Nick's Twitter about Quentin Grimes and RJ Barrett. Now, if you guys don't know, Mark Berman, Mr. Berman, a New York beat reporter, beat writer for the New York Knicks. Um, he has some interesting articles that came out yesterday about Quentin Grimes and RJ Barrett. And, it, you know, it's ha having Knicks Twitter and a lot of people in a frenzy. And I just want to bring you my two thoughts, my two cents on it. And so without further ado, let's talk about it. So the article, Mark Berman said that, you know, Tom Thibodeau prefers to keep Quentin Grimes, you know, Quentin Grimes over RJ Barrett and would rather trade RJ Barrett than Quentin Grimes. Now, if you guys know Tom Thibodeau, he is a defensive coach. He likes defense and he likes somebody that can hit the three-point shot. Now, RJ Barrett is an elite defender. The numbers say that he's an elite defender. He's going to the best wings, the best number one option on the perimeter each and every night. And he's getting guarded by the best and elite de perimeter defender each and every night. So that just makes you question some things because you know, he's putting up 20 points. Now, it's not officially, we all know that, but he's putting up 20 points on the best perimeter defender in the league. And he also has to guard the best perimeter offensive player on the in the league each and every time he's on the court. Quinn Grimes is not doing that. As much as I love Quinn Grimes, he's my guy. You guys know how much highly I speak about Quinn Grimes. Quinn Grimes is not doing that, not at this moment. Now, Quinn Grimes is a lead 3 and D wing. Let's not get it wrong. He is phenomenal. His defensive stats in the 95 percentile, elite three-point shooting, 38 percent on four attempts a game from three. He's phenomenal. I love Quinn Grimes. He's my guy. I'm, I'm Grimes Hives. But Quinn Grimes does not have a higher ceiling than RJ Barrett. Let's keep it a buck. I need you guys to keep it a stack. Keep it a buck with me. RJ Barrett is the more talented player than Quinn Grimes. He's a better defender. He's a better playmaker. Better attacker. He can put the ball on the floor better than Quinn Grimes. Now, both of them don't do it uh, very well. Both of them are below average, but RJ Barrett can get to the rim at will. 99 percentile getting to the rim. Now, he doesn't finish it, which is the biggest knock on his game is that he sucks when he gets there and he's not efficient. But he's only 22. I hope it gets better. Next season, I, I expect it to be league average at the minimum. If not, I will have some questions on RJ Barrett. But I definitely think he's going to be at the, at the minimum league average when he gets to the pain. So that's cool. Now, you see him getting better. He's a very good playmaker. 90 percentile in playmaking. RJ Burry. He's a very good playmaking ta uh, talent. He can pass the ball from the right wing, the left corner. He can do a little bit of everything. And he's phenomenal when he's doing it. Okay? So he passes the bigs. He passes the corners. He does all that. Quinn Grimes is not doing that. Not at this moment. And... Maybe not ever, okay? So I need you guys to stop, all right? Now, this is a whole tactic, I think, from Mark Berman to, you know, raise Quinn and Grimes' stock, raise his value, because, you know, there's been reports that the Utah Jazz have been wanting Quentin Grimes over RJ Barrett because, you know, he's on a contract longer. They don't have to pay him their rebuild and all that jazz. You know, that's all cool. But this is definitely created to boost Quinn Grimes' value because, the New York Knicks are not willing to give up RJ Bear. That just doesn't make sense. And, you know, Tom Thibodeau, if that is a real thing and Tom Thibodeau wants to keep Quinn Grimes over RJ Bear, Tom Thibodeau needs to get fired. ASAP. Get him fired, get him kicked out, you know, go somewhere else. But yeah, guys, this is just a little quick update. I wanted to bring you guys on the discourse and the stupid discourse I've been hearing on Knicks Twitter. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get, get to 50 likes. Let's get to 1,200 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, YouTube.